<laughs> YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Buddha back in the building for the fourth video that we are recording today. Uh, and we are doing something that it feels like we haven't done in a long time, and that is some summons. I think the last time we did anything was when Baran and Rabala first rolled around and we stole them right under the rug. Uh, then Shift Goroth dropped and I did explain why I wasn't going to spend any crystals on this dude right here. And I can happily say I am glad that I did not. Uh, I now have the tickets saved up from the event. And funny enough, I was actually going to wait to do this video, but I'll tell you why uh, I am doing it right now in just a second. It's also a good time to use this video and say, if you're watching this late tonight, because that's probably when I'm going to post it up, uh, I am going to do a live stream, a summons live stream, a huge update exploration live stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure on the time exactly, maybe like 10 a.m. Eastern time, something a little earlier than what I usually do, or noon, I don't know. By the time this is up, you'll most likely see the scheduled uh, stream post that I will uh, put up on YouTube. So it'll have the time that we're gonna go live there, but yes, we're going to uh, do our summons, right? We got that fat amount of crystals you see right there, 90K or 90 plus K. We're gonna go in for our boy Laugzeus, and then we also are likely going to go in on that unit guaranteed ticket gotcha because if I can snag up Zekis for a guaranteed 30k crystals, it's almost too good of an offer to pass up at the moment. Uh, maybe it could be a trap for what is to come in the future, but for the return and compared to th everything else that we've gotten in this game, this is like that guaranteed UR for the price that it was when it first was announced uh, last New Year's. That's kind of what this banner represents to me. So I'm probably going to jump in on that, which means it's going to be a lengthy summons uh, marathon, which is definitely, er, it definitely deserves a live stream. Uh, along with just exploring everything that tomorrow's updates bring, it's going to be quite a wild live stream, I think. So definitely deserve it of one. Uh, so look out for that. I'll be excited to see you there if you can make it. Now back to this video. Uh, like I was saying, we can see your boy has some tickets. Uh, I don't know why I'm always ended up with nine tickets. I feel like I'm always missing one somewhere and I don't know where. If someone could let me know, please. This one and the Sardine event, Sardine, Mad Shift Maddie event, I ended up with the same 10 spin plus 9 singles for some reason. So uh, here we are again. You can see I did snag up that 10 spin premium ticket. We did get uh, 100k points on the event and I'm going to admit I spent 200 crystals to do it. Yes, I refreshed my orange orbs twice in order to get the points that I needed. Uh, was it worth it? Uh, duh. 200 crystals for 10 spins on this banner? Absolutely it's worth it if you're comparing, you know, actual crystal amounts for a multi-summon. But I do feel a little dirty. I'm a little ashamed that I did that. I can justify it by making that comparison that for 200 crystals, I technically got a 10 spin on this ticket gotcha banner. So I'm not mad at that. Uh, but another reason that we are doing this video tonight is because I almost forgot getting wrapped up in all of the new news and making videos about it. I almost forgot that there are tickets that expire tonight, guys, and I can guarantee you, I can guarantee at least one of you has tickets that do expire on the 23rd. If we can, oh, I don't even need to click it. You can see right there. They expired tonight, everybody, June 23rd at uh, midnight Pacific time. I'm going to post this up at about 10 p.m. Eastern time. So you have some time to use these before they disappear from your account. Let a friend know who maybe doesn't know <laughs> that they're about to lose out on some tickets. But you could see, I mean, we've got, look at that. We've got a, a 10 spin. We've got a couple SR or higher singles a couple regular gotcha tickets and an SSR guaranteed gotcha ticket. At this point, your boy can only think of the Silver Gray Swordsman. 
that is the arc that I, well, and the new arc, right? And the new arc that came uh, with Goroth, Abaddon, that arc's pretty dope as well. Uh, so that would be a good pickup. But that, along with Silver Gray Swordsman, and the Bell. There are still a couple arcs that I need. I need the Bell, Tower, Bell, Tower, Silver Gray Swordsman, and then obviously the new one, Abaddon, here. So, there we go. I got all of my intro pointers out the way. Y'all know we talk a lot before we get into our summons, but it's time. We're gonna start here with the ticket gotchas. Use these up so I definitely don't forget, and then we will jump over to the actual hype, which is the premium gotcha banner. What I was gonna say, I was gonna wait to summon over there because your boy won the Goroth challenge, fighting Barlene in the arena and submitting it on Twitter. Your boy actually was one of the like 29 winners or something like that. So we're getting another five premium tickets at some point. But I figure we need to use these tickets. I'll just summon with the premium as well since I just got that 10 spin ticket. It all works out. Everything is hunky-dory, right? That's a saying, I think. And here we go. Let's start with this one lone gotcha ticket right here. Actually, this gotcha ticket expires on the 14th, so we're not going to use that. <laughs> we're only going to use these right here. Let's start it off with a nice little two spin to round off that number and get that even 10 that we like. Lilibet's chilling here with us. We're actually starting at the SR, and I am willing to bet that is where we're going to stay with two single gotcha tickets. Yeah, there we go. All right, we called that one. No problemo. We did get two SRs, which is actually pretty funny. Uh, we're going to do once more here and cash in our multi-spin. I almost did nine right there, but here we go. If we can get a dope arc, you know we're excited for that. I don't know if there are any units that I don't have getting this first round of buffs tomorrow that I could pull off the general pool banner. Or if there are any characters from the general pool banner that I feel like I'm missing. I honestly couldn't say. We do have an SSR. I'm the guessing duplicate, which it is, of Sandworm. <laughs> Oh, if you're re-rolling for Baron, make sure you pick up your Sandworm in the infinite re-roll banner that you can do. We have had no shortage of pulling Sandworms in my summoning career. We actually used our New Year's exchange ticket to pick it up and then pulled it the multi-summon after, which is all documented on camera, funny enough. Here we go. We're saving that one lone gotcha ticket. Let's do our three... SR or higher singles altogether, because why not? We did enough talking. We don't need to extend out these summons long enough, right? They're ticket summons. I don't think anyone's going too crazy for them. Um, you know what? I feel like I've gotten spoiled on seeing red orbs crack open. That's probably the best feeling by far in these summon animations. I really wish they would reconsider. That would be a good Q&A question, even though they, they shot it down in the past, to throw up, hey, we really want new summon animations, fake outs, different cutscenes. They've got more CGI. Give us the summon stone animations as a type of summon animation, right? Like, it makes sense, summons and summons. Could totally make it work. But uh, here we go. A little bit of excitement. We know we're going to get a an SSR. And SSR, that doesn't make actual sense. We're going to get a SSR arc here. Because I don't believe, even though it says SSR gotcha ticket, that does not include the pool of characters. Uh, so, I am actually more excited for this these kinds of tickets at the moment. Because I would rather the arcs I mentioned in the beginning over any characters that I can't think of at the moment. Uh, no cutscene. We're going to go straight into the break. <gasps> Flex for the camera. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expected. I wasn't expected a little bit of luck on that. Oh. And that's why things just happen, everybody. A nice little gotcha luck to get the blood flowing. To be completely honest with you, and I may shoot down my luck as we move over to this banner. I may just totally trash my luck right here. That was the most hype thing I could have pulled in this video. We got priority number one. 
What can we do here? Let's check. They are on raid up, correct? Yes. So Goroth, <laughs> albeit a point zero zero. No, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I almost couldn't read. It's a substantial buff. It's the regular buff. It's a point eight compared to like sub point one for all the other units. Uh, and the arc as well, I presume? No, no. The actual SS arc is not on raid up on the ticket. Gotcha. I don't understand how, why they configure their rates like that. Especially for something like this, I just don't get it. But uh, you know we gotta start with the nine tickets. A very awkward, odd number. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Like I said, I'm already happy. I'm already happy. So whatever this one's gonna give me, we got Tyria chilling. We're starting at a blue. We've got Tyria and Zekis. Just because we pulled that fire luck right there, I don't expect this to go up past an SR. And there we go. Nine tickets spent. Nada. I blame it on the awkward number nine. <laughs> and finally, we do have the final 10 spin. We're going to get five more tickets, so I will most likely use those tomorrow. I don't know when they're going. I don't know if they gave us a delivery date for the little Goroth set prize that they're giving out. Uh, but if they do give it out tomorrow, you know, that'll be just part of our live stream summons. But this is what will conclude this video, everybody. Any last minute luck for your boy, Boda. We are back in the building. I forgot that I wanted to do that at the beginning of this video, so we just snuck it in right there. We're going to activate the curse mark and see if we can pull this dope dude. Because while I trash on his kit, I cannot deny that he is a dope looking character. Touch the screen. We've got a full squad. We're starting at an SR. I'm looking at Laugmechia. And we're jumping up to an SSR. What do you got for us? We got two SSRs in here. And they are both duplicates of some trash arcs. <laughs> God Slayer. Uh, I, I call this one God Slayer because it comes with the skill God Slayer, Divine Beast Hunter. Uh, that's the only reason I use this arc or know it. And then this one for Auto Brave and Dragon Slayer at the end there. But almost extra hype at the end of this video, but not quite. Two SSRs is actually pretty lucky, uh, but no, we did not get Goroth. We did not get Abaddon, but we did get the Silver Gray Swordsman. Oh, it's called, yeah, the Silver Gray Swordsman, but then right here it says Swordsman's Tail. Interesting enough. Oh, that is nice. So everything about this arc, uh, one of the best arcs to use in your typical boss fights, uh, if it's not something that you need to focus on break like Naglfar, this just gives you increased damage depending on the boss size. So a wonderful arc for, I'm sure, future multiplayer bosses. The AER is incredible. 65 to strength, 200 to HP. When a sword is equipped, boosts movement speed and skill damage plus 10%. Incredible trait right there. And then, of course, something I'm most excited for are actually three things it's it's this this arc is stupid the skills that you can learn from this thing ale of glory battle and recover some sct amazing for tower of trials fast critical a great skill to teach if you know the battle is going to be short sword boost is crazy 10 percent physical damage for four sc that's a big come up if you can teach uh units that don't already have it advanced Dame vitals very powerful if if and when you need it Sorcerer Slayer. For Arena, I can now use Sorcerer Slayer coupled with a Spell Render and Blitz. I am going to have so much fun blitzing every Tyria that I see with Nero S3. It's done. Game over. Thank you for stopping by. And then look at that. No attribute attack raise is also on here. For 11 SC, no attribute attack plus 20%. I'll take that. I will take this was a this this was a come up for the account. Wow. What a dope way. Let's end the video on the art. We called it out and it came home.
to your boy Buddha. I hope you enjoyed the video. Something I almost forgot to mention towards the end of the video, but I wanted to draw attention to uh, our boy Dasha Man, who is a very prominent figure in the LC community. A very cool dude. He hit me up. He said, yo, myself and a friend Uni, who is also a uh, very active player that I see a lot in the Discord. He probably is on Reddit as well. Dasha Man hit me up and said, yo, we are making and we just launched the last Cloudia Hub website that Uni and Dasha have been working on. As you can see, uh, the link will take you right here. Easy enough, last Cloudia Hub, let's get started and boom, it takes you right into the catalog here. Let me uh, try and zoom out a little bit so you can actually see the full welcome paragraph. But you can see that uh, they are launching this website for the sake of new players that they are anticipating at the launch of this big update. You know, hopefully we will see a lot of return players, some new players that have just heard about the game since we're getting so many QOL updates. It is very tempting. It's a good time to start because you can play catch up much quicker. Now with all of these uh, decreased costs and more efficient ways to grind certain things. Uh, but as you can see, they've got a lot of the basics over here uh, on the side, beginner's guide, intro, re-rolling basics, game walkthrough. Uh, they've got it all listed here. Look at that, even characters. Uh, I know they've been working hard at it, and it does look like it's very uh, nicely formatted and easy to read way. Uh, scrolls through everything very nicely. Uh, very good sectioning off of each part in this website. There's an Arc Ether Guide here, which is an extremely important aspect of the game to understand and try and take advantage of as early as possible uh, for multiple reasons, for mages, for PDPS, for support. It's very, 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 uh, a, this is a very, very great resource that they have created and introduced. So when they asked me, yo, you mind plugging this? I said, absolutely not. Uh, anything to help new players, I'm all about. And you know, I'm probably going to read through this and learn something myself. So make sure to check out this link. I'm going to throw it in the description. If you are a new player, welcome. I hope this helps you out. And you already know your boy Boot has got a ton of videos as well on the channel. So Hopefully you've got plenty of content to explore and enjoy while you experience this last Claudia introduction. Welcome. I hope you choose to stick around. And here's just another great resource for you to utilize on your way. Good way to end recordings for the day, I must say. And I am excited for the live stream tomorrow. So I'm going to get back to continuing on editing videos. I've still got to post the uh, review of the June unit buffs that we saw in the end game notice. And then I'm gonna get to uh, edit in this for a little late night post, some little late night entertainment for hopefully most of y'all to watch while we wait for maintenance to end. <laughs> That's all I got for you this time. So y'all know what we say, work hard, play harder. See you in the next video.